Welcome, adventurers, to Bagan. This ancient city in Myanmar is a sight to behold. Imagine a vast plain stretching as far as the eye can see. Now picture thousands of temples rising from the earth like ancient sentinels. That's Bagan. This place is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and for good reason. It's home to the largest and densest concentration of Buddhist temples, pagodas, stupas, and archaeological ruins in the world. Most of these magnificent structures were built between the 11th and 13th centuries. They stand as a testament to the power and artistry of the ancient pagan kingdom. Get ready to be transported back in time. We'll explore the rich history of Bagan, delve into its architectural wonders, and soak in the spiritual atmosphere. From the iconic Ananda Temple to the bustling local markets, Bagan offers a truly unforgettable experience. So, join me, your host, Glenn from Travel with Glenn, as we embark on an adventure to uncover the secrets and stories of this magical place. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more exciting travel destinations. Welcome back to Bacon, everyone. To truly appreciate the scale and grandeur of this place, we need to journey back in time. Bagan wasn't always a peaceful field of ancient temples. It was once a thriving city, the heart of a powerful kingdom. We're talking about the Pagan Kingdom, folks, the first kingdom to unify the regions of what we now know as Myanmar. It all began around the 9th century. The Pagan people, led by ambitious rulers, began to expand their influence across the region. Their power grew, and so did their capital city. Bagan, strategically located on the banks of the mighty Irrawaddy River, became a center of trade, culture, and of course, religion. This was a time of great prosperity, and the kings of Pagan spared no expense in showcasing their devotion and power. Now, let's fast forward to the 11th to 13th centuries. Bagan's Golden Age. This period saw an explosion of religious construction. Imagine this, over 10,000 Buddhist structures, temples, pagodas, monasteries were commissioned by the kings, queens, and wealthy patrons of the time. These weren't just simple structures, mind you. They were architectural marvels, each one unique reflecting the artistic skill and spiritual fervor of the era. Skilled artisans, architects, and craftsmen flocked to Bacon, eager to leave their mark on the sacred landscape. The city buzzed with activity, the sounds of hammers striking stone, the chanting of monks, the lively chatter of merchants and visitors from far off lands. Bagan had become a cosmopolitan hub a melting pot of cultures and beliefs, all drawn to the spiritual heart of the pagan kingdom. But what remains of that glorious past? Well, look around you. While many structures succumb to the ravages of time, earthquakes, and invasions, thousands still stand. Over 2,000 temples and pagodas dot the landscape. They're not just stones and mortar, they're a testament to the enduring legacy of the pagan kingdom. Each temple with its unique design and intricate carvings whispers stories of kings and commoners, of faith and devotion, of life and impermanence. They offer us a tangible link to a bygone era, a glimpse into the soul of a civilization that flourished centuries ago. And that's what makes Bagan so special. It's a place where history isn't confined to museums or textbooks. It's alive, etched in stone, whispering its secrets to those who take the time to listen. Now imagine yourself standing in the heart of ancient Bagan. The sun is rising over the horizon, casting a golden glow on the landscape. 
As you look around, you're surrounded by temples, hundreds of them, each one unique and magnificent. Some temples soar high into the sky, their spires reaching for the heavens. Others are smaller, more intimate, tucked away among the trees. Some are well-preserved, their intricate carvings still visible after centuries. Others are in ruins. Their crumbling walls covered in vines and moss, but each temple, no matter its size or condition, has a story to tell. Each one is a testament to the faith and artistry of the people who built them. As you wander through this ancient city, you can't help but feel a sense of awe and wonder. It's like stepping back in time into a world where spirituality and creativity reigned supreme. Of all the temples in Bagan, one stands out as a true masterpiece, the Ananda Temple. Considered by many to be the most beautiful temple in Bagan, Ananda is a sight to behold. Its gleaming white walls and towering golden spire dominate the skyline, drawing the eye from miles around. Built in the 12th century, Ananda is a stunning example of Mon architecture, known for its elegance and symmetry. As you enter the temple, you're greeted by four colossal Buddha statues, each facing a different direction, north, south, east, and west. These statues, with their serene expressions and graceful postures, are said to represent the four Buddhas who have achieved enlightenment in our world. Take a moment to appreciate the intricate details of the temple's interior. The walls are adorned with exquisite carvings depicting scenes from the life of the Buddha. But the Ananda Temple is just the beginning. As you explore Bagan further, you'll encounter countless other temples, each with its own unique charm and history. There's the Thad Bienyu Temple, the tallest in Bagan, its towering structure visible from across the plains, and the Damayangi Temple, the largest in Bagan, its massive brick structure, a testament to the ambition of its builder, King Narathu. Don't miss the Sulamani Temple, known for its beautiful murals and intricate stucco carvings, or the Tilominlo Temple, with its impressive three-tiered roof and well-preserved glazed sandstone decorations. As you wander through these ancient ruins, take your time, look closely at the carvings, the statues, the fading murals, listen to the wind whispering through the crumbling walls. Let your imagination transport you back in time to the days when these temples were filled with the sounds of chanting monks and the scent of incense. But Bagan isn't just a city of ancient stones. It's a living, breathing testament to the enduring power of faith. Every day, the people of Bagan continue the traditions of their ancestors, keeping the spirit of this ancient city alive. As the sun rises, saffron-robed monks walk barefoot among the temples, their chants echoing through the morning air. Local villagers come to offer food and pay their respects, just as their families have done for generations. The air is thick with the scent of incense and the sound of bells and gongs fills the air. It's a beautiful and moving experience, a reminder that even in the face of modernization, the traditions of the past continue to hold sway. In 2016, tragedy struck Bagan. A powerful earthquake shook the region, damaging many of the ancient temples. It was a heartbreaking loss, a blow to the cultural heritage of Myanmar. But even in the face of disaster, the spirit of Bagan endured. The people of Myanmar, with the help of international organizations, came together to rebuild and restore their beloved temples. Skilled artisans, using traditional techniques passed down through generations, 
work tirelessly to piece together the fragments of history. It was a long and arduous process, but a testament to the resilience and determination of the people. Today, Bagan stands as a symbol of hope and renewal. The temples, though scarred by time and tragedy, continue to inspire awe and wonder. Visitors from around the world flock to this magical place, drawn by its beauty, its history, and its spiritual significance. As you wander through the ancient ruins, remember that you're walking in the footsteps of kings and monks, pilgrims and artisans. You're witnessing a living history, a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit. So take a deep breath, soak in the atmosphere, and let the magic of Bagan wash over you. It's an experience you won't soon forget. Now let's take a break from the temples for a bit and experience a different side of Bagan, the vibrant local life. And what better place to do that than at a bustling market? Imagine stepping into a kaleidoscope of colors, scents, and sounds. The air is filled with the aroma of spices, the chatter of vendors, and the laughter of children. This is the heart and soul of Bagan, where locals and visitors alike come to shop, eat, and soak up the lively atmosphere. You'll find stalls piled high with fresh produce, exotic fruits you've never seen before, fragrant herbs and spices, and freshly caught fish from the Irrawaddy River. But that's not all. Bagan is renowned for its handicrafts, and the market is a treasure trove of unique souvenirs. Feeling peckish? Then tantalize your taste buds with the incredible flavors of Burmese cuisine. The market is a foodie's paradise with street food vendors whipping up delicious dishes right before your eyes. Be sure to try Mohinga, a traditional fish noodle soup considered the national dish of Myanmar. It's a flavorful and comforting dish, perfect for a quick lunch or a satisfying snack. And don't miss out on tea leaf salad, a unique Burmese delicacy made with fermented tea leaves, nuts, and beans. For a sweet treat, indulge in some Burmese sweets, often made with coconut milk, rice flour, and jaggery. The market is the perfect place to sample these local delicacies and experience the true flavors of Bagan. beyond the temples. While the temples are undoubtedly the main attraction in Bagan, there's so much more to discover beyond the ancient ruins. Remember, Bagan is not just a historical site. It's a living, breathing community with its own unique rhythm and charm. Take a leisurely bike ride through the countryside, past emerald green rice paddies and traditional villages interact with the friendly locals, learn a few Burmese phrases, and gain a deeper understanding of their culture and way of life. For an unforgettable experience, consider taking a hot air balloon ride over the plains of Bagan at sunrise. As you soar above the ancient temples, the golden light of dawn paints the landscape in breathtaking hues. It's a truly magical way to witness the sheer scale and beauty of this ancient city. A timeless journey. As our journey through Bagan draws to a close, we're left with a profound sense of wonder and a deep appreciation for the enduring power of the human spirit. Bagan is more than just a collection of ancient temples. It's a testament to the enduring legacy of a civilization that flourished centuries ago. It's a place where history comes alive, where the past and present intertwine seamlessly. Walking among these ancient structures, one can't help but feel a sense of connection to the countless pilgrims, monks, and artisans who have walked these same paths for centuries. 
the gentle breeze whispering through the temple ruins seems to carry echoes of their voices, their stories woven into the very fabric of this sacred landscape. Until next time. So, there you have it, adventurers. Bagan, Myanmar, a place where time seems to stand still, where ancient wonders meet modern day life in a harmonious blend. If you're seeking an experience that will stay with you long after you've left, then Bagan should be at the top of your travel list. It's a destination that will captivate your senses, ignite your imagination, and leave an indelible mark on your soul. From the soaring heights of the Ananda Temple to the bustling energy of the local markets, Bagan offers something for everyone. It's a place to get lost in the beauty of ancient architecture, to immerse yourself in a vibrant culture, and to discover a sense of peace and tranquility that is hard to find in our fast-paced world. Remember to like this video, subscribe to Travel with Glenn for more incredible destinations, and share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring. Travel far and wide, let's take flight. See the world's wonders day and night. From sandy beaches to mountain peaks, every adventure, a memory we keep. Join the journey, share the thrill, every video brings a new chill, from bustling.